Okay, in this example, we had our developer controller and that contains some information about myself. Let's do another one. Uh, I'll say here again, get, get mapping again. I'll give this an address and I'll call this email. This must be associated with the method. So same thing, I'll say public string get full name and this in this example oh, not get full name get email and I'll say here return professor dot at gmail dot com Now, once I save this, if you remember that entry that I did in palm.xml, which is this entry right here, this will restart the server, which is, this is the server up and running. So if I save it, you should notice that, see how it's restarting the server because of the change that I made. Okay. Now, what that allows me to do now is, now I have access to these two URLs, full name, and email okay so now if i go back to my web browser i can go after full name which is what we did before and i'll now do email oh there it goes okay so now i have two web resources okay so this is my developer info all right, with that, good luck and good coding. We'll do another example, but I just wanted to give you an idea on the type of code that we'll be doing.